Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be replacing a hot water tank. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech and let's begin by taking this apart. As you can see we're in the on position make sure to turn the system off. So we have a gas line and we also have some water lines. We're going to want to close our water valve and we're going to want to close our gas valve. All right, so the gas valve is closed. Now let's close this water valve. Now that that valve is closed, come down here and we can drain our tank. I guess you can't go wrong. Let's drain this guy. All right, so I got a bucket with a submersible pump. So, I'm gonna let the water drain in this bucket. And I'm gonna start this pump, and I got a hose to go out the window. Here's your relief valve. I took off the pipe to it. And if you push this up like I have it now, it allows air and helps you drain a little faster. All right, so while we're draining, I'm gonna take a few things apart like this little duct work. And maybe I can disconnect the gas line. And that's about it until this finishes draining. pretty much drained this is called the union we just broke the union after the gas valve so now this is isolated it's ready to pull out and now we can cut our water lines I'm gonna cut after this valve because there's still water on this side so we're gonna cut down here and probably rebuild it up to the valve I would like to replace it but we're gonna see what the homeowner wants to do and take a small pipe cutter and start cutting these lines. I really do love these Weha screwdrivers, so. We're pretty much drained, but I just don't want to get any water on the floor. I'm going to close that. Just cap this off. All right. Gas lines free. Water lines both cut. Exhaust pipe out of the way. And that's it. We're free. This is ready to come out. Just wash the pipes and everything. That's it. We're loose. We're ready to go to the garbage. <laughs> All right. Got the new one in place. It looks great. We rebuild this relief. Got to rebuild this gas line. Rebuild the water lines and install this exhaust. And we're out of here. It's quite a few things to do. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the gas line because the water, I can manipulate a little more. This is kind of hard drawn pipe and set already. And I just wanna get this to fit. So I do have this special Teflon. It is for gas lines. I like using this. Next, I got some blue thread tape, some Teflon tape. Here's for the relief. So let's thread that one on. And it's gonna look like a little bit something just like that. All right, so the gas line looks fantastic. This looks great. There's no floor drain, so kinda is just what it is. I reused the old one. 
um, we have to install this cap. Let me cut this back a little bit. And now I gotta rearrange these water lines. Um, we are gonna replace this valve. This thing looks absolutely terrible. And in order to do that, to drain this, I have to drain the main of the house. So I'm gonna close the main water valve, uh, drain it, and then cut this back. I'm gonna have to cut from here to here and redo the elbows coming in. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's close those valves. So here's his main. Close this valve. I'm gonna shut off all the water in this house. So I closed this one, and there's actually another valve right there. I'm just gonna close both to be safe. I right, just took a vacuum hose, got that draining into this bucket, and I got the pump set up, and I'll turn it on so I can pump the water outside. So I will be replacing this little gate valve. I had one in the truck, it's perfect. While that's draining, I'll start building up my pipe. You see this is like quite apart, so I'm probably gonna cut it up here and elbow my way back down and let me just configure all this. This has to be redone. All right, I just dry fitted the plumbing. New valve, now pipe adapter. And we elbowed up to here and the same thing for this side elbowed up up to here put a coupling it looks really good i'm just going to cut out some of the sheetrock so i can make these connections all right so i got this sheetrock out of my way and as far as this duct i got this piece on this just like snaps in but this a little bit off balance so i'm going to cut sh cut this a little bit shorter so this can fit, but I'm gonna focus on my pipes right now. I just dry fitted it. Now I'm gonna sand down the inside of my fittings and the outside of my pipe and uh, get everything all configured. Let's get this pipe work done. When it comes to fittings and sanding, I definitely recommend getting one of these brushes. All right, so everything's prepped. Since this is threaded, I don't wanna solder this connection while there's Teflon on it. So I'm gonna build up my pipes. I'm gonna solder it like this up to this position. Tighten it down. Then I can make these connections up here so this Teflon doesn't melt. All right, so I got this prepped. Gonna, it's hold, being held by this. Got a fireproof mat here. And I'm using lead-free 95.5 solder. So I'm gonna prep these pipes and uh, get started. Next, I'm just going to do the same to this side. So these are all prepped. I'm gonna put Teflon on these fittings, spin these on, and then that should give us enough space to solder our last fittings up above, and we should be good. All right, those water lines look absolutely fantastic. Super clean. I love it. 
I just opened up the water main. So from here to the valve, we are good. It's time to open this up, see if hear the water rush. Let's fill this bad boy up. And then we can work on this right here. All right. No leaks. Let's get this flue pipe in. And we're pretty much ready to go. Now that is a beautiful thing. All right, cut this back. Everything's nice and straight. New valve, beautiful solder connections. Everything is just great here. The last thing here is to turn this guy on. Just gotta open up the gas valve. Double check these connections are not leaking with a leak detector. And from there, I'm gonna start it and give these people some hot water. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.